Yes, students. Today we will discuss how to import data from flat file, CSV, or any other uh, source into SQL Server. So the method that if you have a data in the CSV file, let like we have a data over here in the CSV file. So how to move data from the CSV file into the SQL Server? Here this one file is separated by .csv save file is saved with the name of the .csv or it may be possible that we have the file is txt or even any other format can be there this is how we can move that one data first we will take a look on the how to move data from the csv file or txt flat file into the sql server it will automatically create the table and all the others okay so uh, which one database let's say uh, i have one database i am just deleting this one another excel database was there Now, uh, what we have to do, the, the database that we want to, where we want to move the data, just right click on that one database and then select the task. Right click on the database in SQL Server, connect with the SQL Server in the database section, expand the database section, select the specific database, right click on the database, click on task and the next import flat file. Then click next. Now we, where we have the data is available, click on browse. Our data is available over here in the sss.csv. Select that is a data file csv or txt are there. So table name we see data student. And database update is dbo, data bbo. No need to make a change of data. We can mention any other database names or uh, even the file name what we have the file name we can select that one as well that will be automatically selected click over here next okay it says that uh, an error occur while running on the input file so already our file is opened when file is opened then it will display the error message just close this one file click ok and previous then again same over here just simply click over here no it's remember that one whenever you have to import data from any csv file that file must be closed now it will display the what we have in that file so all the data that we have in file it will be displayed over here so it says that name id name and address four different column values are displayed over here. three different column values are displayed over here and six different records are there click and click next Modify column. If you want to modify it, yes, no, we don't know it to modify it. Just mention it over here. The primary key ID should be a primary key. We say that uh, address can be an alone or just click over here and simply click next. Now it displays the summary that where we have a data. So name is uh, where we have a data is here. Database name is there HRDB. Table name that we are creating in our new database that is our student and the, the file that is available in our system that is available in the download in sss.csv and simply click it over here on the finish and then close it say that success its task is done click over here close now we have to move to the sql server and right click over here on the hrdb database and refresh it then click over here on the table here it says that we are having the table name is there student is here our database is already selected with hrdb if not selected then use the name of database so we have to use it over here select Derek from student and go just execute it so what we have in that CSV file, everything moved from that CSV file into over here. Six different records were there and three columns. So all of those record values are moved from the CSV file into SQL Server database. Now, if we have a data in a, any other database, uh, like uh, we see that data is available over here in the adventure work, DW, from this one table, how we may be able, previously we did using the uh, select, and to and then from uh, now 
In this video, we will discuss how to move the data from one database to another database, right? Like we have a, a data last time we did for the customer. So here we will we want to use it over have the data for the any other uh, like table we say that uh, product then product is here. So for the then product what we have the data in the database we want to select it over here and the source this one is the source and adventure work DW 2017 and table name is here then product and where we have moved it over here in SRDB or we can move it right click source and import data now if we want to import and export without uh, any type of import can be performed using the HRDP task and import data. So it will display it over here SQL Server import and export result. Click over here next. Now we have to select the source data. So our source database now at this time we see that that can be anyone that can be Excel, that can be flat file, that can be Notepad, that can be Access. Uh, or any other like here we see that our source uh, database is Microsoft OLED provider for SQL server so we are taking data from the SQL server right and server name if we don't name remember the server name so just click over here as we are using the localhost uh, it will uh, localhost then we can use it over here the localhost or simply we can use it over here dot or your you can write the server name over here and i already clicked over here so it will uh, take a little time to explore all the server and then the value will be displayed if not then simply for the local host press dot it will automatically connect you with the local host okay so just click over here dot now when we click over here dot it means that we are connected with the localhost what are the different databases that are available with our database as we are having the window authentication initially in last video i discussed that we are using window authentication okay then list of the databases click it over here which one database we have to take data from the data source this one is for the data source so adventure work dw 2017 click next now what one which one should be our destination so we see that our destination then again oledb but uh, database name should be another uh, we say oledb as we said were provider and uh, database name is here uh, azure db okay click over here next now click again next now which one table are we want to use it over here only one table we said that so oh, no then product if you want to move more than one table like we i am selecting it over here then geography and then uh, organization okay select this just click it over here on three different tables click on next simply click on next and so it displays it over here three different tables click on finish so it will take data from the three different tables from the adventure work dw 2017 and in one table dem geography we are having 655 rows it's next one 14 in third one we are having six zero six rows are there click on close now just click it over here right click and refresh it now here we have the three different tables just click it over here right click our product and uh, top 1000 rows in the adventure work so what we have all the records all the data that is available and the source data that is moved from source to destination thanks for watching the video